root j. I'm going to explain the concept of acceleration. So acceleration is often the most misunderstood quantity because acceleration has a meaning much different than the meaning associated with it by some sports announcers and other individuals. Sports announcer will occasionally say that a person is accelerating if he or she is moving fast. Yet, acceleration has nothing to do with going fast. A person can be moving very fast and still not be accelerating. Always remember, acceleration has nothing to do with going fast. Because acceleration has to do with changing how fast an object is moving. So based on the definition, it is a vector quantity that is defined as the rate at which an object changes its velocity. An object is accelerating if it's changing its velocity. So if an object is not changing its velocity, then the object is not accelerating. Simple as that. So the data here are representative of a northward moving accelerating object. The velocity is changing over the course of time, as you can see. In fact, the velocity is changing by a constant amount of 10 meters per second in each second of time. So anytime object's velocity is changing, the object is said to be accelerating or it has an acceleration. So let's have here a diagram. Look at the diagram or look at the uh, image. So which car or cars are undergoing an acceleration? So study each car individually in order to determine the answer. So if you inspect each car individually, you will more likely notice that the only green and the blue cars accelerate. The red car moves, as you can see, the red car moves with a constant speed, covering the same distance in each second of the animation. So therefore, the red car is not accelerating. The green and blue cars are speeding up, thus covering an increasing distance in each second of the animation. Next. So which car experiences the greatest acceleration? So the answer here is the blue car has a greater acceleration. Observe uh, the movement of the three car, cars. So as you can see, the blue car has a greater acceleration. It is changing its velocity at a more drastic rate. So the green and blue cars are speeding up, thus covering an increasing distance in each second of the animation. So let's have here a uh, few example. So in which case do you think acceleration is involved? So A, is it the image A or image B? So the answer is uh, none of the two uh, has an acceleration. Because they are moving at a constant speed with no change in their direction. There is no change in their velocity. So therefore, there is no acceleration between the two uh, images or be the, between the two uh, vehicles here. 
So let's say in this image, uh, the object is moving at a constant speed of 30 kilometers per hour, but at some point in time, it changes its direction. Is there an acceleration? The answer is yes. There is an acceleration even though the object has a constant speed. Because at a certain point in time here, as you can see, in this corner, the object changed in direction. And according to our past lesson regarding velocity, if there is a change in direction, there is a change in velocity. And when there is a change in velocity, there is acceleration. So, let's have our summary. So, always remember that if an object change its velocity, it is accelerating. If the object is not changing its velocity or there is no change in velocity, there is no acceleration.